muchachos. All right then, our next roster is Abis Matthew. Abish Matthew, ladies and gentlemen, says that he's religious, which is what all virgins above a certain age call themselves. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage a man who needs an introduction but doesn't deserve one, Abish Matthew. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Karan Johar, isn't he? After fabulous? comic midget. Karan, your show, Coffee with Karan. Wow, man! If that show was any more incestuous, I would call it Dadar Parsi Colony. Don't get the reference. Don't know the reference. Ladies and gentlemen, the man running around is here. Oh, yeah! Raghu, you are so abusive. We tried to high five your wife, she ducked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rajiv Masan, give it up for that guy. Look at him. You look like a hobbit had sex with a Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> Rajiv Masan is a strict film critic, ladies and gentlemen, and does not give out five stars easily, nor does he give out perk, munch, bounty, eclairs, or snickers. <laughs> you are like a walrus and a seal fused together. You appreciate cinema something like this. <laughs> Aditi Mittal is one of the top comics in the country. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. Aditi Mittal has been on top of most of the comics in the country. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the star attraction for the evening. Arjun Kapoor and Ranveer Singh. Yeah? Arjun, you said as a child, every time Sonam Kapoor, your cousin, went out on a date, you used to join her as the third wheel. That is the first time a third wheel had four tires. <laughs> but congratulations, you are slim now. And you've been dating Sunakshi Sinha. Congratulations there. But those are all rumors, that's not true, because you know you're not supposed to freaking touch carbs. Still another reference. Let me sing to Mr. Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh, all you single ladies out there, Ranveer Singh is actually on Tinder. Yeah, or as uh, he likes to call it, Flipkart. Uh, Ranveer, how does it feel to be the only sad person in the country every time Virat Kohli scores a century? <laughs> anyway, uh, Ajit Kapoor and Ravi Singh, thank you so much for having me. Roast you guys. You guys are super cool. You guys are an inspiration to a generation. Keep continuing to be cool. Thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> Our next roaster is Aditi Mittal. She's only here because we needed one girl on the panel. <laughs> so that Ranveer Singh has someone to joke off to. <laughs> Please give it up for this lady and gentleman, Aditi Mittal. everyone uh, thank you thank you so much for having me on this show Kamba you just are so far up Tanmay's asshole that Tanmay's dinner last night is your breakfast this morning <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen Tanmay is here Tanmay Bhat's idea of going down on a woman is bending over and asking Maushi ye potato kitne ka hai Maushi if only we knew Hindi yeah. Rajiv Masan. Rajiv. Rajiv, I'm not saying that you're fat. But you look like a steamed momo. <laughs> Raghu, I'm a big fan of your work. Uh, you know, a, a ceiling fan of your work. <laughs> like a stool, a rope, and a ceiling fan. 
Abish. Abish, if a girl has sex with you, she becomes a virgin again. <laughs> you are literally a hymen repairman. <laughs> but no, from the over-entitled assholes on my right <laughs> to the over-entitled assholes on, on my, my left. left. Yeah. Karan, I feel like the only reason you would come out of the closet is if you heard that Jaya Bachchan was waiting outside with a thali. <laughs> Arjun, I think your greatest role so far has been your career. <laughs> and Arjun, let's, I mean, we can't forget it. You failed to end standard. <laughs> you failed. You're so dumb. That when you first saw a dildo, you went looking for the plastic man it fell off from. <laughs> like, is there? Is there? Any? Speaking of dildos, Ranveer is here. <laughs> and Deepika is dating Ranveer, as we all know. It's great. Deepika, as a woman, I want to say thank you. You're taking one for the team. <laughs> My name is Adam Thank you, Aditi. <laughs> what happened? All okay? My baki hai. Piche mur jao. All right. Our next one is Rajiv Masand. Rajiv, I don't know why you review movies. If I wanted to watch a pasty, high-pitched diva be clueless about films, I'd watch Anupama Chopra. <laughs> Give it up for the human loofah, Rajiv. <laughs> Thank you. Does it look familiar, Rajiv? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be here. Look at Karan, being openly mean to me. I guess you don't have a movie coming out anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Karan, you joked about how you pay me for good reviews. Here's a thought. You wouldn't have to pay a critic if you'd actually paid for a decent fucking scriptwriter! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Karan Johar went from hating Anurag Kashyap to loving him. So you're the opposite of Kalki. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of people who blow Karan Johar for work, AIB is here. <laughs> Hey Ashish, loved you in 12 years a slave. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Oh. And Captain Phillips. <laughs> and in Kim Kardashian. <laughs> oh my goodness. But let's get to the stars of the night Arjun Kapoor and Ranveer Singh. Ranveer, you're so slutty. Every time I start a rumor about you, turns out it's already true. Your cock travels faster than the speed of gossip, man. <laughs> Arjun Kapoor played a double role in Aurangzeb, so he could disappoint his father twice. <laughs> but all jokes aside, thank you for having me here. Arjun, Ranveer, this was great fun. And it's also the only time I'm using those two words to describe anything that you're involved with. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So good. Ooh, my head hurts from laughing. Oh, I know. My face hurts. My son, ladies and gentlemen. This is such a good roast. roast. Uh, is the multi-talented Tanmay Bhatt. <laughs> but, but, but then I realized that loud and fat are not talents. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> give it up for the sentient butt cheek. Tanmay Bhatt. Sentient butt cheek. <laughs> Ladies 
Let them give us a current joy. Current joy, let Current joy, yes. Current joy, like most people. Current joy, like most people. Because when most people come, they come like, ah, ah, ah. Current when you come, you come like, ah, ah. Do so many of your movies pander to the NRI audience? Really, if you pander to the NRI's more, I'll have to call you Narendra Modi. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, shit. But everyone's made so much fun of you, Karan. Everyone's made so much fun of you. I want to shit. talk about the positives about Karan Johar. Karan Johar gives so many helpless uh, actors a chance in the industry. So many actors who have no connection in the industry, Karan launches them. You know, like Alia Bhatt and Varun Dhawan. <laughs> actors who have no idea how to launch themselves if it wasn't for Karan Johar. Karan, you are fantastic at uplifting the already fucking uplifted. <laughs> you are Robin Hood, you give money from the rich to the rich. <laughs> what do you do? Meet Aisha Taka, give her a push-up. What is wrong with you, Karan? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but of course, after co-founding AIB, I've had the pleasure of working with the finest, uh, most talented, hard-working and funniest comics of this country. Also you, Rohan. <laughs> Rohan, some people say you're an unfunny fuck who has a career only because you have a vaguely generic face and your connections to the Bhatt family. Rohan, don't listen to those people. Those people are jealous, those people are petty, those people are right, but don't listen to them, Rohan. <laughs> Ashish Shakya is here, ladies and gentlemen. I want you guys to give a round of applause to Ashish Shakya. It is not cool that so many people came here and made jokes about you being ugly. It's not cool. Ashish, you are the hottest guy in AIB, all right? You are the hottest guy in AIB because black absorbs more heat. <laughs> Scientifically, he's the hottest guy, is all I'm saying. Aditi, I think, I personally think, you're the best female comic on the panel today. It's so nice. <laughs> Aditi, you're so Punjabi, you don't wear lingerie, you wear a brrrr! <laughs> <laughs> Frumpy Tits reminds me, Rajiv Masam is here. Rajiv! That was great! Rajiv, why do you use so many fucking fancy words to describe simple concepts? Why do you do that? Like, if I were to describe you, I would not say, Rajiv is the pinnacular zenith of biopollinating vaginal diaspora. I would just say, ek number ka chutia admi. It's simple as that. Why are you complicating simple shit? Ek number ke chuti se do chuti ka number aa gaya. Can we get up for Ranveer Singh and Arjun Kapoor? Yes. Arjun, you are the grandson of producer Surinder Kapoor, son of producer Boni Kapoor and entrepreneur Mona Shuri Kapoor, cousin of actor Sonam Kapoor, nephew of TV tycoon Sandeep Marwa, nephew of actor Anil Kapoor. Tell me, was it tough to get into Bollywood for you? <laughs> was it tough? Did you have any fucking connections? You self-made man. <laughs> oh. Ranveer. You put on a Krish costume and danced on Linking Road for a dare. You don't have to do that, man. At least wait for your next few flops before you start dancing at a signal. <laughs> <laughs> Look at fucking Arjun smiling. Arjun, smile for the audience. Smile for the audience. Fucking the creepiest smile in the world. Just smile. <laughs> Arjun, your smile is so creepy that when Shakti Kapoor looks at it, even he checks his stop button. Like, what's the difference? I'm sure. I'll say <laughs> wow, you're so smart. Thank God you're not a writer. <laughs> but easily the creepiest thing today on the dash is Ranveer Singh. See, see, Ranveer, you're such a slut. If you fucked a chick with Ebola, she would die of AIDS first. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ranveer, you're such a sleaze. You don't get turned on until Deepika uses the pepper spray on you. <laughs> Karan, you approached Ranveer Singh for one of your films, Shuddhi. Ranveer, of course, took the audition because he thought it was called Fuddhi. <laughs> Ajun, I'm not saying you're doing badly, but the last time I saw Kapoor struggle so hard, Anil was trying to speak English at the Oscars. Oh. <laughs> Even Ryan Seacrest was like, Chup, what are you doing? 
<laughs> in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have always sort of pushed the envelope uh, in the genre of comedy. Be that with the video with Alia or with our first video with Yashraj or today uh, with Insan Comedy. And this would not have been possible uh, without two of the coolest young kids in Bollywood. It gives me it gives me great pleasure to ask you guys. Please give a huge fucking round of applause for Ranveer Singh and Ashul Kapoor. After doling out that shit to me, how come none of you have thanked me, you fuckers? <laughs> what are you doing? I said thank me, not wank me. <laughs> There's room for at least three more. I like it like that. Harems are my thing. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was our panel. Huge round of applause. Please welcome Arshad Kapoor and Ranveer Singh! Because Arjun Kapoor and Ranveer Singh would like to say a word as soon as they're done up stitching up their assholes, of course. So now, ladies and gentlemen, here to fuck up yet another climax. Please welcome Arshad Kapoor and Ranveer Singh! <laughs> Other than the time I gave Karan an audition for Shruti. Tanmay <laughs> Bhatt, ladies and gentlemen. Tanmay Bhatt, thank you for letting us have this show inside you. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, I'm not saying Tanmay Bhatt is fat, but Tanmay Bhatt doesn't have a bath. Tanmay Bhatt has a visarjan. <laughs> Fun fact about Tanmay Bhatt, ladies and gentlemen, Tanmay Bhatt's favorite superhero is Tarla Dalal. <laughs> Seriously, guys, the only reason Tanmay started the AIB podcast is because Tanmay likes to talk after sex. <laughs> <laughs> and the first four rows didn't get that joke because they don't follow the AIB podcast. <laughs> yeah. They are, the, they are the free seaters in a night for charity. <laughs> yeah. Industry. Yeah. yeah. Affectionately call if you're Mojo Rojo, what the fuck does that make you three? The Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Powerpuff! <laughs> Gandu. You dating the sister of Alia Bhatt, Shaheen Bhatt. You're the most pointless addition to the Bhatt family since Vikram. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, uh, I mean, sorry, Rohan, we have no more jokes on you, you're so fucking generic. <laughs> Uh, Aditi Mittal, what the fuck are you laughing at? All of your jokes are fucking male bashing. So you're sort of like Karan Jor after a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck, what are we having here? It's Raji Masan! Oh fuck! Shakti Masan! <laughs> yeah! Raji, 
how does it feel to be part of another show where nobody gives a fuck about what you say? <laughs> Rajiv, I was hoping that your jokes would be funny towards the second half, but much like your life, it was quite pointless, your performance. <laughs> In fact, your performance was so one-toned and one-dimensional that if I watched you in 3D, you'd still be flat, motherfucker. <laughs> in the end, I'll be generous and give Rajiv half a star, but only for his hot pies. <laughs> because his roast was more painful than a root canal. <laughs> Laugh, na? <laughs> See, this is the only time you're going to find us great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christopher Nolan. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> How would you and your brother Rajiv Lakshman are confusing to me at a biological level? Because you both look like testicles, but you're both assholes. <laughs> you know, Baba, honestly, when Raghu and Rajiv were born, the world was the first time to get one and two. जिन्होंने एक चूतिया 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 तू हिलाता है अपने लंड पे चिल्लाता है। निकाल पोषण का बंजर तू चिंस कर रहा है। छोड़ छोड़ कर। खाना नहीं होता है तू रोज़ नहीं आता है। जैसे तू रोज़ आता है। तू नहीं नहीं तू है। बेबी नहीं है। तू है ना। मगर तू है। खाना तो हमारे जाता है। तू है 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 तू But, uh, well, fuck, all, it's all fucking jokes aside, thank you for ripping on us. The truth is, I, I genuinely am quite depressed about Kildil flopping. <laughs> Bye, Baba. You know what you need? What? what? According to me, your career needs a mind-blowing, chaka-cha, glamorous, dharma feel. That's my position, Rajiv. Oh! Oh! Good for him! Good for him! Good for him! That was great! You can judge us all you want. And hate on us. And you can shit on us. And call us. All kinds of names, but we'll be absolutely fine. You know because what? Because unlike the bunch of these losers, we have the option of having sex with whoever we want. Not me, baby. <laughs> baby, baby, I mean, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. You want to find some fanny? Find it. Ladies and gentlemen, Arjun Kapoor and Ranveer Singh. So, so, so. Tonight at the AIB knockout, these two deviants took a whole bunch of insults, bit slaps, outright terrible shit, right? Not because they're masochists, or well, not just because they're masochists, but what are you doing? Something. But, because we're here for some very important causes as well, and tonight I'm proud to say we've raised close to 40 lakh rupees to be distributed across charities, across three charities. Ranveer Singh will be donating to Vogue Empower and Give India, which as we know is quite a thing he would like to do. Arjun Kapoor will donate to the Tata Memorial Center and my contribution will go towards being human because even my choice of charity is a cliche. A huge, huge, huge thank you to our panel Raghu Ram, Aditi Mittal, Avish Matthew, Rajiv Masan and of course All India Back Show, ladies and gentlemen. For putting together tonight's show and of course a huge thank you to these two fucking bastards, Arjun and Ranveer, thank you for doing this. It takes a ton of guts to take that sound of pounding. We took it like champs. And now we sing the song and we sing it together. Come here. Okay, one, it goes like one, this. First, first to the Allah. One, 
a two, a one, two, three, four. I want the words. Sing with me. Ab to mera land khada khada sota hai. Kya karu hai? Kuch nahi hota hai. From the bottom of our hearts, all I can say is we love you. And now fuck off. That was an absolutely fantastic roast. My cheeks hurt. My my face hurts. Ah, it hurts from laughing. So that was so. That was way better than I was expecting. Ah, oh, man, that was good. Why are people offended by it? I, mean, I, I know they said offensive things, but come on, it was it's unjoking for him. It's it there's all, certain there's certain jokes that could have never been done here. No, they could in a roast. They could have been. No, sure. No, well, like if you're if you're a, a white comic talking about a black man and their black. Yes, man, Pete I, Davidson didn't do it. To who? I, I can almost guarantee it wouldn't happen here I, unless I, it's a black comic to a, 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 another black person. I I don't know. I think cause we have a all, very, it's, we have a very different no situation. holds barred in roasts. Well, it's the, literally no holds barred. Uh, that uh, that, kill, that was kill a black uh, man and uh, get away with it. Oh, that was oh. 9-11 joke that was so bad. <laughs> the ISIS joke. You're so repulsive, you were an altar boy for seven years and not one priest would molest you. <laughs> uh, I love Ruth. The, the best thing you've been inside of is Topeka. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ruth so much. Oh man, in, in all sincerity, uh, in all sincerity, I think there's only two reasons that people get so offensive offended by this kind of comedy that they take it personally is they have a very particular bias that they will not put down or they simply aren't at a place of intelligence quotient to recognize that the exact opposite is happening. You don't roast people unless you actually care about them. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes uh, when someone is saying jokes that are insulting, like I have heard straight up, I've heard, I can't, I can think of so many different things that jokes have been said seriously, like Bill Barr has said something, or Ricky Gervais, who've said something that was definitively insulting to something I hold very precious. It, yeah. I just don't understand why people like say boycott them, yeah. they don't let them talk. It's like, I, yeah. I've never understood it. Yeah. This was so freaking funny. Yeah, I'm sad they don't do more. Obviously, I, don't, I know is oh. not around anymore. But man, do I wish somebody would come up with a, a way? Because obviously, there's so many people in the industry. You could, I mean, I I think about Karen Johar could be, he could be himself. Yeah, <laughs> on your own Kasia. They well, should be like an on your own slash Karen and it Johar. It speaks roast. volumes of the person to allow themselves to be roasted. Mm -hmm. So like somebody like it, 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 that's exactly who I was just gonna re reference. If if Big B allowed himself to be roasted. Everybody would have such a hard time doing it. They but love him so much. They love him so much. And would it would be so... It's just it's another side of people's personalities to see. Yeah. Um, I, this was fantastic. Maybe we can put one on one day. Yeah, this was fantastic. Yeah. That was so funny. Really uh, good. Well, I'm, it's glad... a, I'm sad that AIB's gone. Yeah. I think they had some... They've done some great stuff. I don't know who it was, but I think they said something with Me Too happened. Yeah, there was a there was a controversy. It wasn't Tame Bot. It was I don't know who who exactly it was in there. I don't in either. Their corporation, but I, I know either. it was something along that lines. Yeah, um, but yeah, they've done they, they, their content was so good, and this was so great. They should do India should do more of these. There's Absolutely. So many artists who you could just roast, and it would be so fun. So fun. It's just fun too. It's laugh. fun. It's great advertising. It's great social relations. It gets you past all of the other things that they do. And then obviously for this, I think it's pretty clear that all of the ticket sales went to charity. charity. So That's this kind of event, is, it it, it's wonderful. Oh, that was great. So good. Well, if there's more of uh, that kind of stuff, oh. and I don't think there is, but if there is, uh, please send it my way. Yes. Uh, I do love roasts. Yes. You guys should roast us. That'd be fun. Well, they do in the comments in the section comments. all the time. <laughs> Just